maybe you have been praying uh, for your relationship uh, maybe it could be with your fiance, your wife, your husband. You could have parted ways. Maybe the breakup was so hurtful and you've been praying that maybe God will touch their heart and bring them back into your life. You know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 11 that he has made everything beautiful in his own time. So God has a way of doing his things. So he can bring back someone in your life at his own time if it is his will. So here are some of the signs that someone is back into your life. The very first sign there is forgiveness and healing. You know, the breakup could have been so painful that if you think about this person, you think you can never at one point forgive them. That has ever happened to me in my life. So during this time of uh, reunion, you feel you are happy now. You have, you know, relief. You feel I have forgiven this person. You can even call him or her and you speak together. You can talk maturely and, you know, release healing and forgiveness into one another. And that's a good sign that you guys are coming back together. Maybe he was your husband or your wife, or maybe you had even gone up to to call it for divorce and things turn around you've been praying that god will touch his heart and he touches his heart and you feel like we can be back together so the first sign is when you feel i can now forgive him the burden is now lighter i feel i no longer heavy against this person God wants you to be completely healed and it is his will that you forgive the person who has hurt you. So if you feel the Holy Spirit telling you to forgive this person or you have already forgiven them, it's a first sign that they are coming back into your life. If he's your husband, your fiance, your boyfriend, girlfriend, it's a good sign that your relationship can still work. The Bible says he heals the broken in the heart and binds up their wounds. If God has healed your wound, he has bound them up. Don't harden up your heart. Please release forgiveness that person. The number two, you have peace within you to let this person back into your life. You know, sometimes uh, the Holy Spirit talks to us every time we have friends. Uh, you find that you are struggling to bring this person back, even if they have apologized, even if you have forgiven them. You feel like there is no chance more in my heart for this person. In this particular scenario, you find that you feel so much peace within your heart. You no longer feel bitterness against this person. You no longer feel so bad about this person. You feel like you care about them. That's a good sign. Peace. If anything doesn't give you peace inside you, within your heart, it is always not something good. So when you look at your heart, I mean, when you feel the Holy Spirit telling you that it's okay, you can give him or her another chance. It's a clear sign that this person can be back into your life. And maybe the other person also will feel the same towards you because you may feel within you, you feel they should come back into your life, but then they don't feel the same. So if God really wants you people to be together again, maybe in your relationship, maybe, you know, he will bring peace within you. And you will have peace, not fear, not bitterness, not wrath, not anything but peace. If you feel peace within you, then please let them in. And number three, there is acknowledgement. Now, when someone has done wrong in your life or in their lives, if they have done wrong to you, and they will never admit or acknowledge that I have done wrong to this person. Uh, let me go and say sorry. It is always very hard to bring them back into your life. This particular thing, someone will acknowledge that they were wrong or you did wrong. And they will come to you and talk to you about that. I did wrong to you. Please have mercy on me. Forgive me. When there is acknowledgement, 
things always be easy forgiveness is easy because you feel someone really understands the magnitude of the pain that i went through when she or he caused me this pain when you look in the bible in psalms 51 uh, there is king david when he was acknowledging his sins before the lord he came to ask for forgiveness he told God that for I acknowledge that my sin and my transgression is ever before me. So when you go to reconcile with someone, you must be able to acknowledge that there is something wrong that she did. If there is acknowledgement, confession, there is always, that is always the easiest way to reconciliation. So if this person comes back, acknowledges their past mistakes, their sins, the wrong things they did to you, who are you not to let them in again? If he or she acknowledges that they really did wrong to you, please give them another chance. Four, you still love each other. Now, love is patient. When you look at 1 Corinthians 13, from verse 4 to 8, it talks about love, unconditional love. Love that is patient, love that isn't selfish. So when even if amidst misunderstanding, when someone still loves you, they will come back. And if you still love them too, then you need to welcome them. If this person really loves you or loved you, they will come back at some time. It doesn't matter how long it may take because God does his things at his own appointed time. You cannot force it. You can't do anything. If the time comes, this person will come back. And this time, love is going to be so beautiful because you will have learned a lot of lessons, you know. So if they still love you and care about you, give them another chance. Maybe it is God's will. Five. It is always a new beginning. When someone comes back in your life, uh, it starts with healing, forgiveness, and love. And someone will no longer focus on your mistakes because they will not help in this, uh, in this time. So when you feel like there is, we have begun this relationship afresh, I feel I love him or her more than before, it's a good sign that someone is coming back into your life. There is always that new beginning when you feel, if I'm given another chance to love her or to love him, I will be better. I will do better because now I know my mistakes. You know, I know. It is always by the way good to give second chances because some people learn. Maybe you caught him cheating or maybe, you know, you caught her doing something nasty. Give them a second chance and you will tell me it will be so good because they will have learned from their past mistakes and this time love is going to be so beautiful. If it's a new beginning, it's another sign that it's going to work again. And the last one, it is not forced. You know, it if something is always God's will, it will just happen without any force, any push, anything. You don't have to beg someone back into your life. I've always talked to people during counseling that if maybe their partner is hurt and maybe has gone away, maybe there's something, give them time. At God's appointed time, he can touch their heart and they will be back. And this time, it will not be forced. Don't beg someone to come back into your life. Don't force. You know, some people know how to even buy people to go and beat, to go and, you know, try to threaten. No. If it is really God's will that you'll be together, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take, that person is going to come back. And this time, you will not force them. They will just come back very well and with all the new life, new techniques, they will have learned from their brokenness. And this time, love is going to be stronger. If it's your family, if it's your marriage or a relationship, it's going to be beautiful because we learn from our mistakes. There is no perfect human being. All of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And so we are capable of doing wrong. But if someone comes back and acknowledges they are wrong and seeks for reconciliation, peace, 
give them a second chance. It's only God who knows how to punish them for whatever they did. Don't be God. Don't sit in his throne. Please give a second chance. If at all, it's God is will. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please, it's a kind request that you subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like and share the video. Leave a comment for us in the comment section. And God bless you. Bye.